What's up, y'all? And welcome to another episode. Let me get right into it. As y'all know, I made a few videos now. I received a comment from someone in my past. He said, hey, Chinaman, do you remember me? His name is Dubs. He's a Southsider, a Mexican. He, has a, he also has a show on YouTube, a YouTube channel called Dubs. Check him out. Y'all support him. He's trying to support me as well. He said, man, remember me from CYA? We had a fight in a chow hall. We was both on the Pomo. The Pomo is just the name of the dorm that we were in. It had different dorms, different names from Avenal, Cal Yucas, the Pomo. Remember I told you I was in CYA for four years. He's talking about in 1990, we were both 16 years old. We were in the chow hall. He was sitting right here next to me, to my left. And we were getting into it. I was horse playing with him. Another rule, another thing that you should not do in prison. I didn't mention that rule. Only gave y'all eight rules, the main ones. There are other rules to live by. Horse playing, no horse playing is one of them. It's a reason for that. I'll explain later. Well, hell, here's, here's proof of why. I'm playing with him. I'm horse playing with him. He said, man, stop playing with me. I guess he wasn't in the mood. I'm like, man, we played yesterday. We played all the time. Now all of a sudden you don't want to play? Nah. So I kept playing with him. He told me to stop. He had asked me to stop. I'm only 16 years old. I don't know. I kept playing. Man, he got up. He had a spoon in his hand. Dubs, you know you had a spoon. You know you had a weapon, bro. Hit me in the mouth. Bam. Knocked my tooth back. This tooth right here, that's why it's, that's why it's yellow. That's why it's brown right now. Boy, for years I thought about that. I thought about that day. And I wanted to get that guy. I couldn't even respond. I was dazed. All I, all I could do was grab him. I wanted to throw him out the window. I ain't even had a strength because I was dead. He caught me slipping because I was playing with him. Hit me, pushed my, he knocked the tooth out, but he pushed it back. That's why it's all crooked and brown, messed up now. I'm still trying to get it fixed. Almost 34 years later. But Dubs, you know you had a weapon. <laughs> but that's okay. We let bygones be bygones. Now listen, in his video, in one of his videos, or on the video that he had today, he was responding to commenters who said something about a video that he posted however long ago called well, How Come the Blacks Didn't Have Knives During the Pelican Bay Riot. I guess he was saying in the video that blacks ran and were getting stabbed up and beat up and whatever, and some people were commenting back saying, man, you know, whatever, they, they didn't like that. So he made a video, you know, yesterday or whatever, saying, hey, it ain't my fault. I'm just telling y'all what happened. And let me tell you, man, it's true. In the year 2000, in February, hell, you can Google the riot. Oh, right here on YouTube, they got video footage of the riot. So you can't dispute or deny what happened. The blacks were unprepared. They didn't have knives, even though it was tension on the yard. But after that, Pelican Bay being a level 4, 180. And a lot of blacks got hurt. And you can see in the video, there are blacks running. There are blacks trying to hop the gate. Oh, tough guys. They tough with me. They ready to kill me over anything. Go to the club, step on, you step on his foot, he ready to kill you. He go to prison, and they come at, he running trying to hop the gate. What's up, killer? Anyway, that happened. But make no mistake about it. And this is not a competition about who wins the most riots in prison. And in the Los Angeles County Jail, we don't want to hurt each other, period. But the place is very racist. And so I don't want to make it a competition. But there are some riots where we will be on a losing end because we're unprepared and don't have the proper structure. That's why everywhere that I went, I started telling the blacks, we're going to structure up. We're going to go on the offensive. If there's some tension on the yard about something that transpired, we're not going to be sitting ducks. We're not going to wait on them to attack us. And we're around here with our damn guts hanging out because we were unprepared. If we go on the offensive and then we have the weaponry because we were prepared and planning this, we're going to win every time, every time, because we're so strong and powerful. And that's what I was pushing. Everybody will tell you that, man. My resume speaks for itself, period. I'm just going to leave it like that. They, they know what's up with me. All right. 
But now, this is not a competition. But you're going to win some, you're going to lose some. And so, for the blacks, the brothers who may have saw his, his, his page in his video and thinking, damn, man, the blacks ran and hopped the gate and got stabbed up and five and six Mexicans on one black. Damn, man, and feel bad. Let me explain something to you. After that happened, everything got cleaned up around the California prison's pier. The blacks became a lot more structured, a lot more attentive, and had a lot more knives and were a lot more prepared. But there are times when that happens. There are also times when riots happen where we, the blacks, totally annihilate who, who's ever in front of us. Annihilation. Have no chance. High Desert's riot against the white boys in February of 2003 is a prime example of approaching us and poking the bear and then getting annihilated. And so I'm going to get into that riot that happened in High Desert in February of 2003 to let you know we're not always on a losing end. But it's not about riots. It's about staying out of prison to begin with and saving your life. But I wanted to respond to that video and let you know that we did have a fight. He's not lying, because I guess him, he said when he posted this video explaining the fight that he and I had over a month ago in the child hall back in 1990 that people were responding saying, man, they didn't believe him. I guess probably some people that know me, like, man, whatever, that didn't happen like that. They didn't believe him. So today he was saying, so we're going to get China Man and we're going to ask him if that really happened. Well, let me tell you, that happened. Dubs is not lying. We had a fight, and that motherfucker knocked my tooth back. Playing around, horse playing. Years ago, by guns, by guns, we straight. But that riot happened in 2000. In February of 2000 in Pelican Bay, level 418. Google it. Pelican Bay riot, 2000. The blacks did not come out on a winning end. But many times we do. So I'm going to explain that high desert riot that happened in March of 2003. It was bloody. But it wasn't many blacks bleeding. High Desert Level 4. 180. Riots. Between the whites and the blacks. Part 1. Coming soon.